President Barack Obama has made protecting the environment and combating climate change one of the cornerstones of his presidency. Number one is that he established the largest marine reserve in the world. Obama expanded the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument to encompass more than 490,000 square miles, an area six times its original size when it was created by President George W. Bush. This national monument includes seven atolls and small islands in the Pacific Ocean that are home to corals, fish, shellfish, marine mammals, birds, insects, and plants found nowhere else on the planet. Also, he said this area is completely off-limits to commercial resource extraction including commercial fishing. Number 2 has signed a bipartisan ban on microbeads. Obama signed into a law a ban on microbeads, the tiny plastic exfoliants found in beauty products and toothpastes that enter our waterways, get flushed into ecosystems and are consumed by fish and other marine life. The law prohibits the manufacture and introduction into interstate commerce of rinse-off cosmetics containing intentionally added plastic microbeads. Number 3 is rejected Keystone XL oil pipeline. Obama rejected construction of the 1,179-mile pipeline from Canada to the Texas coast that became a symbol of the debate over his climate change policies. After a seven-year review, the president nixed the Trans-Canada proposal, which Republicans promised would create thousands of new jobs. Number 4 is raised fuel efficiency standards. President Obama announced an agreement with 13 major automakers to increase fuel economy from 29.7 miles per gallon to 54.5 miles per gallon for cars and light-duty trucks by 2025. The White House said that national program to improve fuel economy and reduce greenhouse gas emissions will save consumers more than $1.7 trillion at the gas pump and reduce U.S. oil consumption by 12 billion barrels. Number 5 is unveiled the Clean Power Plan. The goal of the Clean Power Plan, which was first proposed by the EPA in 2014, is to reduce carbon pollution from power plants. According to the EPA, when the plan is fully in place in 2030, carbon pollution from the power sector will be 32% below 2005 levels. Also, the White House says it establishes the first-ever national limits for mercury, arsenic and other toxic air pollution from power plants. The policy would require states to meet specific carbon emission reduction standards based on their particular energy consumption.